All right. Good afternoon, my friends. It's time for Quick Tips at 5. Now, if I were to ask you this simple question, who is it that controls your mind? I'm sure that 99% of you would say, well, of course, I control my own mind. Well, I'd like to help you rethink that answer and challenge you in the next few minutes. What I want you to do right now is to think back to a time when life was easier. Think back to a time when you were four, five, maybe six years old. Think about how easy it was to be happy. The most of your thoughts revolved around your quest to find out and to learn new things, to explore, to do something new and exciting. It's like the only reason that we became unhappy was when someone came in and stopped us from exploring and searching and finding something new. Or they took our favorite toy away from us. We were open to life. Completely open to the possibilities. We were open to the freedom of choices. We weren't consumed with what most people are consumed with today. Now, what we fail to realize is over the years since we were five or six years old, others have implanted their thoughts, their limitations into our brains so that rather than pursuing our quest to find something new, to learn something brand new, that we're deceived into thinking that the way we have been taught or they taught us is the only way to think. They've taken their restrictions and their thoughts and they put them into our minds. Now, while we have accepted other, other people's boundaries and their limitations to our existence, I believe that that's why there are so many thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who are depressed filled with anxiety, and they're suffering, miserable, agonizing through the trauma of trying to live somebody else's life, trying to think somebody else's thoughts. I believe that there are specific concepts of right and wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do think that there is right and wrong. And and from an early age, I think we understand those concepts. But the problem is, is when we integrate someone else's concept of right and wrong that is not consistent with our Creator's intent. It's at this point where the battle begins in our mind. Hey, David. <laughs> no, my limitations are not yours and yours aren't mine. But we all have this battle, this struggle. We struggle with the inconsistencies in our mind to the point that we, we eventually surrender to them, which is what most people in the world do. They bow down to those inconsistencies and those other people's thoughts or those inconsistencies have got to be challenged. And that's what I do every single day. They need to be met with truth. Otherwise, depression and anxiety, unhappiness are the result of that unresolved struggle. Some of you are probably listening to me thinking, oh, he's never had a struggle like mine. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But I have to say that while I appreciate your perspective, and I may not have struggled with the exact same issues that you have, I have struggled to overcome some very, very significant challenges and obstacles in my own mind and in my own life to be where I am right now. I do still today battle with some of those same things that each of you do, 
But I've come up with a strategy that allows me to strike a, a death blow to those thoughts when they creep into my mind. I do not allow them to stay and assault me. And you can too, with some help. Now I hope this message is, has been helpful and stirred you to think just a little bit for yourself. You remember, like the five-year-old did. It's what we're supposed to do. I hope you reach out to me or someone if you're feeling overcome by those thoughts that are keeping you down. I hope you have a fantastic evening. I'll see you in the morning when I'm going to be talking about overcoming procrastination. Y'all take care. I love you. Mike out.